Philippine Politics and Governance, Lesson 6, The Executive. Heron Stories Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. In the Philippines, we have the separation of powers. A principle that each branch has a specific responsibility. One branch cannot influence the actions and decisions of the other branch. These branches are the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judiciary branch. Executive branches of the government. This governs the state by implementing laws and creating policies and programs to respond to the needs of the state. The executive branch carries out laws. Executive leadership, the national government. We have the president, vice president, cabinet secretaries, executive departments, independent agencies, and other boards, commissions, and committees. The local government under the executive branch, we have provincial and regional governor, provincial and regional vice governor, city and municipal mayor, city and municipal vice mayor, barangay captain and barangay chairman. The key roles of the executive branch include the president. The president leads the country. He or she is the head of the state, leader of the national government, and the commander-in-chief of all armed forces of the Philippines. The president serve a six-year term and cannot be re-elected. The vice president. The vice president supports the president. If the president is unable to serve, the vice president becomes the president. He or she serves a six-year term. Cabinet. Cabinet members serve as advisors to the president, consists of the heads of the largest part of the executive branch of the national government of the Philippines. Currently, the cabinet includes the secretaries of the 21 executive departments and the heads of other several other minor agencies and offices that are subordinate to the president of the Philippines. The cabinet secretaries are tasked to advise the president on the different affairs of the state like the agriculture, budget, finance, education, social welfare, national defense, foreign policy, and the like. Other important information The highest official is elected separately from the president by popular vote. The vice president is first in line to succession if the president resigns, is impeached, or dies. The vice president is usually, though not always, a member of the president's cabinet. If there is a vacancy in the position of vice president, the president will appoint any members of Congress, usually a party member, as the new vice president. The appointment must be validated by a three-fourths vote of the Congress. Here are the President of the Philippines. We have Emilio Aguinaldo, the first President for the First Republic. Manuel El Quezon, the President of the First Commonwealth. Jose P. Laurel, President of the Second Republic, known as the Puppet President. Sergio Osmeña. President of the Second Commonwealth, Manuel Rojas, Elpidio Quirino, Ramon Magsaysay, Carlos P. Garcia, and Justado P. Macapagal. They are the five presidents under the Third Republic. Ferdinand E. Marcos is the president for the Fourth Republic. Then we have Corazon C. Aquino, Fidel V. Ramo, Fidel v. Ramos, Joseph Ejercito Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Benigno Cunguanco Aquino III, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, 6th President for the 5th Republic. Remember, the number of constitutions is equal to the number of the republic. Here is the history of the constitution. The Malolos Constitution in 1899, this was under Emilio Aguinaldo. The Commonwealth Constitution, 1935 is under President Manuel El Quezon. 
Then we have the Japanese sponsored constitution 1943 for Josepi Laurel. Then we have the martial law constitution 1973 for Ferdinand Marcos. And then we have the freedom constitution 1987 for Cory Aquino. Here are some information of the Philippine presidents. First one, we have Emilio Aguinaldo, first republic and the first president. Oldest president that lived, achieved independence of the Philippines from Spain and was elected the first president of the new republic under the Malolos Congress. He led the Philippine-American War against U.S. resistance to Philippine independence he died of a heart attack on February 6, 1964 at the age of 94 years old in Quezon City, Philippines. Manuel L. Quezon, Filipino statesman, leader of the independence movement and the first president of the Philippines Commonwealth established under U.S. tutelage in 1935. He is the father of the national language. Jose P. Laurel a Filipino lawyer, politicians, and juries, who served as president of the Philippines from 1943 to 1945 during the Japanese occupation during World War II. He is called the puppet president under the puppet republic. Sergio Osmeña, the second president of the Philippine Commonwealth and a distinguished statesman. He led the country in its initial stage of political maturation by his honest and selfless devotion to public service. He was the vice president of Quezon. Rojas, the last president of the Commonwealth and the first president of the Republic of the Philippines, signed the Bell Trade Act or the Philippine Trade Act along with the general amnesty policy and the implementation of the military basis agreement. L.P. Jocherino, the second president of the Philippine Republic. During his administration, the Philippines passed through a period of revolutionary turmoil marked by widespread corruption, demoralization, economic crisis, and political terrorism. Ramon Magsaysay, third president of the Republic of the Philippines, credited with restoring peace, law, and order during the Philippine crisis in the 1950s and the Huk Balahap Rebellion. He was the first Philippine president from the landless lower middle class. Carlos P. Garcia fourth president of the Republic of the Philippines. He was noted for the enunciation of the Filipino First Policy, intended to compete and guarantee Philippine economic independence and sovereignty. Gustado P. Macapagal, fifth president of the Republic of the Philippines. He was instrumental in initiating and executing the Land Reform Code which was designed to solve the centuries-old non-tenancy problem, the principal cause of the communist guerrilla movement in Central Luzon. Ferdinand E. Marcos served as a 10th president of the Philippines, first president to win second term. Some believe his entire life was based on fraud, deceit, and plunder, and his two decades as president have come to epitomize the worst excesses of autocratic rule. From 1972 to 1981, Marcos served as a dictator under martial law. He retained much of his martial law authority until the 1986 Elsa Revolution. Marcos's law was notorious for its greed, extravagance, and violence, making him one of the most divisive figures of the 20th century. Corazon C. Aquino, the 11th president and the first female president of the Philippines. She restored democracy after the long dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos. Fidel V. Ramos, the 12th president of the Philippines, led the 4th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Leader Summit in the Philippines. Ramos was widely credited and admired for many of revitalizing and renewing international confidence in the Philippines economy. Joseph E. Estrada, the 13th President of the Philippines from 1998 to 2001. 
become the first president in Asia to be impeached from an executive rule and resign from power due to corruption charges and impeachment. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo the 14th president of the Philippines on 2001 and was re-elected in the 2004 presidential election. The second female president he issued an apology over the Gloria Gate scandal because of Hilo Garcia scandal during the 2004 presidential election. Benigno C. Aquino III, the 15th president of the Philippines. Known for Manila hostage crisis in front of the Quirino Grandstand in Rizal Park, Manila. Was criticized during and after the Typhoon Yolanda in November 2013 for the government's slow response to aid the victims and also the Mamasapano massacre where in the death of the 44 Special Action Forces or the SAF. Rodrigo R. Duterte the first Mindanaoan president, known for his campaign Change is Coming, known for promoting federalism, infrastructure development with the Build 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 program, known for war on drugs, was also criticized for his anti-drug campaign or foreign policies, human rights and extrajudicial killings, his political views, controversial comments and many more. Thank you very much for watching. This is Lesson 6, the Executive of the Philippine Politics and Governance. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. And I'll see you again on my next video. Thanks for watching.